Today on Toy Shiz, we're checking out a brand new Chewy. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Diamond Select. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new Star Wars Select. This is their Chewbacca action figure. Good old Chewy. Everyone needs a Chewbacca figure, right? Sporting a couple weapons, couple accessories. This figure will be exclusively at Shop Disney, the Disney Store, Disneyland, things of that nature. Sides of the packaging show Chewie and the Rebel symbol. And then on the back side, it's, it's cool. It's corny, but I like this kind of thing. It's very Star Wars-ish. It's every accessory the figure comes with, and it's all in that different Star Wars language. So I totally dig that. Here is the barcode as well. Yeah, he's a pretty penny. I'm not gonna lie, especially in Canada. Yeez, but in either case, this will be a thermal detonation blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot Chewbacca-sized cup of coffee. This is a look at the upcoming Shop Disney Store exclusive Star Wars Selects Chewbacca by Diamond Select. And of course, here is the walking carpet taken all out of the packaging. And he does come with two guns and two different variations for his weapon harness that you can take him from his first appearance in Star Wars New Hope and then all the way to Solo. And this is where that pack comes from. It's got a nice wash on it. It's very Star Wars, very lived in looking, like how Star Wars should look nothing too fancy nothing too bright and shiny but everything's painted nicely as is his standard bandolier star wars merce that he carries around that's the ideal look for chewy for me but both of them are actually pretty solid i definitely do dig both the looks as is his bowcaster gun chewy's weapon of choice it's got a nice silver dry brush to it Looks exactly like his bowcaster weapon's got all that Star Wars detail to it. It's got a trigger on there as well, so it's definitely looking great. And he does come with an extra blaster as well. You could say this one is from Solo or just any other Star Wars movie. It's a very cool Star Wars looking gun and one that is very befitting of a Chewbacca action figure kind of power of the force to be honest with you but then yeah the Chewbacca action figure it's actually really well painted really well done I like the eyes I like the mouth and everything to him it looks great it looks like Chewbacca I mean an extra head portrait would have been solid a more roaring head that would have been cool but of course everything from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet peg holes it's actually really well painted. I like the gradient of the fur. The fur looks pretty dang great as well. It's got a nice gradient of browns to darks to lights to browns to blacks all the way up. So it really makes the fur look good, really makes it pop. And I do overall like the look of this figure. You can't go wrong. It does look like Chewbacca. Now with all that extra fur, let's say on top of his head, you're going to have some trouble moving the head left and right. If anything, it just subtly kind of looks up, not really looking down. Very limited movement in the head, we'll just say that. But the arms will go all the way up if you wanted to go that route. He's got some good rotation at the shoulders, no butterfly joints, nothing like that, and no bicep either. But he will spin at the elbows. The elbows are single jointed. You do get a limited range of motion in that. You do get some articulation in the wrist where the forearm has articulation, but the hands just rotate. He's got some articulation in the waist. He can do the Chewbacca splits. He can kick up. He's got a single jointed knees. They'll spin at the knee and you do get some semblance of movement out of the feet. All that hair can be quite cumbersome, unfortunately. But when you start accessorizing old Chewbacca, that's when it really starts to come to life. I dig that. I like the look of this particular Star Wars bag on him. That's New Hope. That's just really what I think of with Chewbacca. But just to get the other one on, slip it off, slip it on, and it looks really cool. So you can go more for that solo look. And it definitely works for that as well. Definitely like what they did there. And he does hold his bowcaster quite nicely. Got to give it to him on that. The one hiccup I have to say, though, is with the articulation is that you can't get that two-handed Chewbacca's firing the bowcaster weapon look because the arms don't fold across. It's because of the single-jointed elbows, 
because the hair getting in the way. So unfortunately, I mean, it looks good, but then you can't do everything you want to do articulation wise. But if you wanted to go more for that solo route or New Hope or just the basic Star Wars, that totally works. The other gun, to be quite honest with you, is a little bit too small for his hand, and I think that's where extra hands would have come in nicely. You only got one weapon holding hand. I really wish that you could have held both guns at the same time, but it does have weapon storage technically on both of the bandoliers. So it works in that sense. You can actually holster either of the guns. The bowcaster looks great doing that as well. In terms of the scalature, if you're gonna go more for, let's see, Hasbro's Black Series, I think he would fit in just fine. He's going to be like a smidge taller than the, your normal Black Series Chewbacca, but he does look pretty good. Let's say Boba Fett here. And just to be quite honest with you, with the extra gun that he comes with, he really does remind me of the old Power of the Force Chewbacca. If that extra gun had a strap to it to where you could sling it over his shoulder, that would have been amazing. Just saying that. Now, the only other Star Wars Select figure that I have is the new Storm Trooper. So, he will go nicely with this Chewbacca. You can always rip the arms off this Storm Trooper if you wanted to go that route. Also, on the Storm Trooper, he does have an effect piece that plugs into his various blasters. And if you look at the Bowcaster on Chewbacca, yeah, he does have that porthole as well. You can use, let's say, the Stormtroopers effects and utilize that if you want to. It doesn't really fit all too well. But yeah, if it does have the porthole, some extra effects for Chewbacca would have been awesome. And to go back to the Star Wars Black series, I think that he'll look good with your Mandalorian best scar armor figure. He just fits in nicely. Chewie's supposed to be tall, so it's a nice tall Chewie that will indeed fit with other Black series or variations on the Star Wars brand so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new disney store exclusive the disney star wars select chewbacca by diamond select and thank you again to diamond select for sending this figure out to give you guys this early fresh look the price is a little pricey let's be honest it's got that star wars tax to it i do like all the accessories i think they work well minus the gun that's a little bit too small it does fit in his hand but it's a little too small. The articulation could definitely be improved upon just to do the basic Star Wars poses for Chewbacca. And in all honesty, extra hands would have been ideal. But if you are looking for a well-painted, a little bit taller Chewbacca for your other Star Wars lines, I think you'll definitely be happy. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Chewbacca figure. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Star Wars. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, you know what I'm talking about, right? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.